had some very like timely drives, right? The, the six minute time, you know, at the end, taking six and a half minutes off the clock, those two drives at the end of the first half. How did you like the way that they just stepped up in key moments of that game? Um, <clears throat> I like how they, I like how we did that. I, I, I do. I think uh, they were, I think timely is a good, uh, good word. Um, so I think it was good situations for them. Uh, those two touchdown drives at the end of the half uh, were enormous. And then to come out and hit the big uh, third down conversion that Kobe caught in the sideline, then come right hit the big play after the uh, the block field goal for a tug um, was good. And then we kind of got ourselves in a situation there at the end um, where my mind was running. You know, that last drive was, you know, are we going to go up tempo, try and put one in and, and go back and forth a little bit with them? Or am I going to turn this into a, a ideally a four or six minute drive? which is what we did. You know, we ran the ball well in that last drive, and I think we, we warmed down as, as the game went on there. Um, O-line running backs did a really good job. We had some uh, really big third down conversions on that drive. Um, so the offense did a good job. What, what, what we're talking about is consistency, and every, every coach in the country says the word consistency, and then everyone just expects them to, you know, run every play perfectly and get a 10-yard gain every time and score a touchdown, you know? But how do you become consistent? And, and what we're talking about now is going back to fundamentals, technique, fundamentals, ATD, which is attention to detail. And that's how you become consistent. You become consistent and you play every play well because your hands are in the right spot, your eyes are in the right spot, your feet are in the right spot. You have the right depth on the routes. Uh, quarterback's eyes are in the right spot. And that's what we got to be uh, more consistent at. But instead of just saying the word, let's be consistent, you know, um, we're talking about technique, fundamentals, where your hands, eyes, where your, eye, where your hands are, where your eyes are at, where your feet are at. You said your mind was racing on how you wanted to play that last drive in terms of you know having a long drive or not. In real time, how, how are you making that decision? When did you decide that? Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't use the word race. Uh, <laughs> I didn't use the word race. I was under control. Uh, but that was that's, that. that. <laughs> that's what was crossing my mind. Like right now, you do we go and uh, you know we picked up the. Um, uh, it was a pass to Demir where we ended up getting the first down right there where I kind of got a feel of, hold on, we got him right here, you know? Um, so then we ran the ball a couple of times and Blake hit a good one, you know what I mean? And then at that point, I'm like, we got him. So there was even one point where Coach uh, Silver and Headset said, you know, because of the book and things like that, now's the time to be aggressive. And I called a, a run play the next play, you know what I mean? Me and him joked about that after the game. But to me, we had him, you know what I mean? And to me, we were uh, going to take as much time off the clock as possible because um, I felt we were in a position to go down and score. You know, Kobe had another big third down catch. Demir had a big third down catch. We, we snuck up on them on a uh, third and eight uh, run up the middle where they were expecting pass, you know what I mean? And, and things like that are huge in a drive like that. So it was right after Demir's catch. And then the next play was an eight yard run from, uh, from Blake where I said to myself, we got him. So I can take, we can take as much time off the clock here as possible and go score a touchdown and put it away. I know that obviously the first drive of that game you started like on six inch line or something, so I'm sure that obviously changes your approach. But the whole kind of first quarter of the game, second quarter, until Seth had that big throw to Rock, the offense just kind of struggled. What, what was the problem? In yeah, as, as we go back to consistency with things, you know, we didn't have good field position, to, but that don't mean anything. You know, what I mean, we got to be able to get the ball out of there. Um, there were some things that that us in the quarterback room could have done better um, on that first drive um, to get us out. And once you get out of that area and get a first down, then we could have got back into our you know, a true game plan, you know. Um, but again, that's what we're talking about, consistency. And, you know, we say this after every game, you know, it's a couple of drives, we're not doing well, then also we catch on fire, then we slow down, then we catch on fire, and that's how the whole season's gone. So you can't live like that. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to be consistent. So how are you consistent? Technique, fundamentals, hands, eyes, feet. That's what we're talking about, ATD, attention to detail. Um, and if we can do that, then you become consistent on what we're doing. Because we're, we're explosive right now, and we're hitting some big plays on people, which is awesome, which is great. But if we can continue to be explosive like that and be consistent and put drives together like the last drive of the game there, uh, which I don't know, six, seven-minute drive uh, for a tug, that, you know, that to me has teams guessing them. Kobe Drake had a couple of big catches on that drive. I think the third down conversion just kind of popped up in the last couple of weeks. He's, you know, guys been in the program a long time and they've been proven. What, what's been the biggest thing for him this week? He's always open. Go come out to practice, he's always open. I mean, um, you can tag him a lot of different ways, um, but he's always open. Um, and you said he's been in the program a long time. Him and Seth have been together since uh, Seth got here. You know what I mean? And he hasn't been playing a whole lot, but he's out of practice every single day. Um, 
and him and Seth are 100% on the same page. That third and uh, eight or nine uh, out of our own territory, Seth took a hit through the corner out uh, for a first down. You know, our aim and point, and Seth threw it well before Kobe got open uh, because of some pressure, but our aim and point in that corner out is 25 yards on the sidelines. Whenever you run a corner out, that ball was caught at 25 yard lines on the sidelines. So Seth trusts that in Kobe to throw the ball before he gets into his break with pressure in his face because he knows Kobe's going to be in the right spot at the right time. And that's the attention detail stuff. There's some other routes that we're running where we're not at the proper depth and we're getting thrown off in that. So we can't be at eight yards. We're supposed to be at 12. You know, we can't be at 15. We're supposed to be at, at 12. So that's the stuff we're working on right now in this bye week to get consistent. How do you get consistent attention detail technique fundamentals? Is that like a, I'm that throw specifically that play? It, it seemed like from my vantage point, it was one of those things where like it, everything had to be perfect because of the window, right? Is that like a chemistry thing that he knows that's the It's a chemistry thing, and, that, and that, that's, that's why we practice. You know what I mean? You run a corner route, you're 25 yards. You're going to run out of bounds at 25 yards. Um, quarterback's going to throw it to 25 yards, three yards from the sideline. That's where the corner route's going to be complete. Unless you're in the red zone, then he's going to throw it three yards from the back corner pylon. Um, and that was Kobe running the route like he's supposed to be run. That's the quarterback trusting him to be where he's supposed to be and success. How beneficial is that for your quarterback? Because um, not just Kobe Drake, but Rock Taylor also came in the, the same class as Seth. To, for him to kind of build along with the receivers and to have that continuity. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's college football right now, isn't it? You know what I mean? Stability. You know, you have how many guys in the portal that are new to teams and you don't even know where guys play anymore and they got a new quarterback going into a team and new receivers coming to the team. And that's the hardest thing of this whole portal era that we're going through is these guys come in and they're great players, but they might not be having great success, not here, I'm just saying in general, not end up having great success because they're not on the same page as a quarterback. It takes a while. You know what I mean? You can see it in the NFL. I was just watching something this morning. Jordan loves a little bit off, but he's a little bit off because it's his first year playing. There's some new receivers, in the, you know, and they're not 100% on the same page. Um, so the, to me, that's, a, that's the hardest part of the, of the portal era is, is getting that done now. Rock has been here. We're having success. Kobe's in the right spots. We're having success. Demir's, you know, getting better every single week and getting to those spots. Um, so to me, that's what – you know, we as quarterbacks need is when we say this route's 15 yards back to 12, you got to get to 15 yards back to 12. If you go 17 back to 14, we're going to be off, you know, and then, then it's a bad throw. Yes, it's a bad throw because we're at in, incorrect depth or something like that. So it takes a lot uh, to go into that, and that's why we practice every single day. Routes on air, then we do individual work, then we do one-on-ones, seven-on-sevens, put in the team, carry it to the game, and that's where we're getting on the same page. But to have the stability is, is the most important thing. Looking at this week, just what, what challenges do you feel like you present? Um, yeah, everyone always asks me, you know, what's the hardest defense to go against? And it has nothing to do with scheme. It has to do with guys who are really good football players, which they are, um, really disciplined. They're where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there. Um, and they play with their hair on fire. And they're playing with a lot of confidence. Um, what they did last year, now there's guys gone, I get it, you know what I mean? But what they did last year to where they're at right now, this year in the season, you know, four and one, what were they last year, 13 and one? That's a, that's a lot of wins that they put together. This team's playing with some confidence. They believe in themselves, they believe in their coaching. Um, and like I said, they're disciplined. Uh, they play with their hair on fire and they're good football players. So we gotta be consistent. Pay attention to detail. We got to be consistent. You know what I mean? It's going to be a heck of a battle. It's going to be a 60-minute battle. This game ain't going to be over uh, before the 60-minute the mark and maybe some plus after that. Thanks, Bill. All right, guys. Appreciate you.